I made a gaming mouse that's lighter than a single AA battery, and I'm not gonna lie, playing first person shooters with this thing is ridiculous, it's like you're aiming and holding nothing at all. But there are two problems. One, it's not as strong as a normal gaming mouse, and two, apparently I can't make enough of them. One of the biggest challenges though with this super lightweight extreme design has been durability and toughness. And I will say, you know, transitioning this from a passion project to something that's produced in the thousands and sent out there into the world, you know, I've seen my fair share of broken units. Thankfully though, that's no longer gonna be an issue. This is the zero mouse being dropped from desk height onto a concrete floor over and over and over many different angles, just really trying to break it, and it doesn't. It just flexes a little and bounces right off. This new shell can withstand some serious impact. And it's because of this stuff right here. Tough 2000 V2. This is a new resin from Form Labs, which they just launched, and it is super impressive stuff. So the combination here of stiffness and toughness specifically, basically you can now make strong, lightweight parts, for example, that can take quite a beating. Previously, we were using their Black Resin V5, which looks amazing, prints amazing, and actually the passive stiffness was really quite impressive. This new resin is actually a little bit more flexible, but it can just withstand a different level of abuse. And despite the material being more flexible than what we were using before, I've also optimized the shell structure so it's overall just way stronger. Things like the crossbeam that runs between the grips, that's now completely locked down with the standoffs, which is why you're now able to grip this thing so tightly. So if you're someone who death grips their mouse, you won't have a problem even with the zero mouse. The circuit board also now slots into a dedicated frame essentially and really becomes locked in as part of the whole structure and that helps with the stiffness as well. Now look, can you twist the mouse and bend the triggers back? Absolutely, you can still exploit this lightweight design in ways that it doesn't expect. But if I was to add mass to counter that so you couldn't do those things, then I'm no longer optimizing the tool for what it's meant to be used for. I will say, if you're gripping this thing and playing with it how it's intended to be used, it is insanely strong.